I just want to do a video about this article. I came across the article. Bill Gates is the biggest private owner of farmland in the United States. Why? Then I got another tab open. Right here. Bill Gates just won legal approval to buy 2,100 acres of North Dakota farmland worth $13.5 million. And the people are living across the states. And then we go here to a key point in the article. Right here. However, the anti-corporate foreign law does allow individual trusts to own farmland if it is leased to farmers. The key word here is lease to farmers. So that's basically saying that he can lease his farmland to farmers. But knowing Bill Gates, it will have stipulations because he's an advocate for GMOs. Just like this article. The article right here. This may be the future of farming, says Bill Gates, the founder of the impossible burger. Some big name believe that, that genetically modified seeds and chemical herbicides. See, he believe in GMOs instead of, instead of organic seeds. He believe in GMO seeds, genetically modified seeds, also chemical herbicides. And this lead me to this article. On where that this study that has been done in the mice. The GMO corn gives these mice tumors. So this article is basically a study that was done in France in the university in Italy for over a course of two years where the scientists fed genetically modified corn called NK63 to mice in a study and they grew big tumors and they also gave another group of mice Roundup weed killer as stated in this portion of the articles. So, you mean to tell me Bill Gates want to give, give people GMOs and also spray with <clears throat> chemical herbicides and expect that we not going to develop diseases and tumors such as the lab rats. Give me a break. I'm out.